Let's see, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? All right, Virgo, we're going to do a reading for love and career or love and money. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. We're going to start with money. I know you're here for love, but come on, let's start with some money. All right, and like the, the video. All right. So money, it looks good. The sun card, um, happiness, fulfillment, attainment, getting what you want. Uh, the summertime in your life, maybe it could be significant. Um, maybe you're making money, doing what you love to do. You're getting um, attention, recognition for high quality work. Um, some of you, you do something that, you know, uh, it allows you time or freedom or childlike essence or something of that nature. It allows you to maybe spend more time with your children. Uh, let's see what's going on for Virgo in money. Yeah, the Fool card. So something something new is developing for you. Maybe you struck out on your own or you're going to strike out on your own. You're going to start your own business. You're going to do your own I heard blog or podcast or something of that nature. You're going to really bet on yourself. You're going to make something happen. What else do we have? Yeah, King of Swords. So maybe you're going to use, um, you know, you're going to, this is words also. This is ambition. This is um, maybe even being prompted by the universe to be the authority on something or you have authority in your job sector. You have the authority to, you fill in the blank. Um, you may even be getting recognition by some authority figure, a lawyer, uh, you could work around lawyers or somebody who has a lot of prestige, has a, a good reputation, um, someone who's you know, dedicated to the outcome. This person could even help you get to where you wanna be. Um, let's see what else is going on for virgo in love what's happening for virgo in love it looks like money looks good and all things new you're coming to some clarity about what it is you should be putting your where you should be putting your time your energy your effort where you will best excel some of you could have gotten a promotion or yeah something of that sort uh, a bonus is what i heard okay um love for virgo two cards came out okay so that's a Vir that's a card that's significant to virgo the moon card um things could be a little foggy right now nine all right nine of swords you could be foggy unclear in your emotions also uh, a little bit foggy in terms of your thought process you could be up at night or sleepless nights or restless nights or you're wondering what someone is doing or how they're doing it or if this is really over or it's going to end or this emotional turmoil is going to end some of you could drink you can um yeah be drinking at night that's what i'm seeing up at night up all night or you're wondering if uh this person will reach out to you or um there's a lot of um, not knowing a veil here maybe even lying to yourself something is enemy to what it is you really want um something stands in the way or somebody is in the way what is going on oh, okay so this could even be third party situations when someone is away from you that's when the the insecurities the discontentment sets in the disappointment the hurt um the overthinking the thinking about what you said or what you didn't say let's see love for Virgo yeah it could be with a Sagittarius are you wondering when this person is really going to take the relationship serious when they're going to choose you this could even be with the king of cups sometimes it's Libra male and then it's Cancer Pisces Scorpio um it's somebody who you want to come to an agreement with some happy compromise you want a happy life or a happy marriage wealthy marriage you're wondering if things will change in the temperance card it says if things are going one way it's going to stay that way if it's going one way another way it's going to stay that way so something about change or compromise one more card for virgo in terms of love i think you have to be the change here you can't just rest in your uh in hopes you know in hopes and fears also okay um yeah, the Queen of Swords. So it's asking you to get clear. You know, if you want newness or new life or new love or new this or you want things to be new, then you're going to have to really um, be the executive in your life. Make some executive decision. 
may, decision talks about cutting something off or out, right? Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to do that. Let's see. Let's leave you with some advice here. If somebody can't give you what you what you want, they can only give you but so much. They're compromise or willing to compromise with you, but not give you all of what you need. You might have to get to a place of I knew it. Being assertive, assert yourself, authoritative, um, be executive, be confident. Also in your words, speak your mind. Um, you can't cower down to this anymore. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can also text a question to the number below and get your question answered in that manner. Um, thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.